Hello everybody, welcome to the channel, and today we are reviewing LEGO Star Wars set number 75299, Trouble on Tatooine. Now, obviously, first of all, let's start off with the minifigures. Let's remove this little stick thing. Alright, first minifigure is this very basic Tusken Raider. Not much to see here. Uh, it's pretty bland, I'm not gonna lie. Just looking at it in real life, it's a little bit bland. But you know what? That's not the main minifigure of this of this set. So not much to say. Just a regular good old minifigure addition. So to put you back. The stick. Uh, pretty simple. Not much to say. Alright, next minifigure is the Mandalorian, of course. Now, first of all, what I want to say is this gun, it looks horrible. Uh, it just looks atrocious. So one simple modification I did is take that thing off and stick it onto this. Now it's some kind of cool SMG, and obviously this isn't real Star Wars, but it looks way better. So, yeah. Uh, now let's move on to the actual Mando. He looks amazing. This helmet, uh, a little too light gray for my liking. It doesn't match the rest of the minifigure very well. But obviously, as you can see, very good printing. Has this arm printing, which fascinates me. And there isn't much to see on the back. Uh, just rip his helmet off just a black head so nothing to see there but as you can see good minifigure all right let's put this guy to the back oops and the last minifigure is baby yoda um i knew he was going to be small but he is pathetically small this is here's my pinky yeah uh he's small and i mean there's not much to say just Baby Yoda, I guess. So, let's put the minifigures to the side and move on to All the base. Right, so, these are the three primary builds. First, we're going to look at this speeder. Oh, oops, that's a little too far. Anyway, speeder, it was a pretty simple build. Not much special going on. It's actually really low to the ground, which I kind of don't like. I thought that, I think it's just a little too small, this, this whole area. It looks detailed on first glance, but if you're holding it, it's really small. Which is, I think, a disappointment. I thought the speeder would be better. But there is a, a handful of features over here. You have a clip for the guns. You can just stick these on however you feel. So you can have one gun there and another gun on the opposite side. Uh, there's this nice little satchel piece, which I'm pretty sure is not in very many sets. So you can stick Baby Yoda nice and snug in there. Just put him in. And he fits in like a charm. That's kind of cool. Also, this whole section moves. I don't know what the purpose of that is, but I guess you can move it. And there's much else to say. It has this nice backpack on the other side, which is realistic to the speeder in the episode. And just overall, it was, it was a good build, but at the same time, I thought it was a bit unsatisfactory. All right, the next build is this Ballista. Uh, I actually don't have any complaints with this one. I thought it was a good build good size and it just looks really nice there's much to say came with these cool silver flick launcher things which i don't know if it's exclusive but it's certainly a new sight to my eyes so nothing wrong with that also comes with two of these so a little bit of extra play value i suppose oh uh, back here you have this gun used as a handle this like fet pistol and these things spin but they don't do anything uh there's also uh, these little legs on the bottom and yeah, it's a pretty good build. Nothing wrong with this one. And the final build is this little Tuscan Raider sand hut. Uh, I don't like how it's just half a hut. I, I just think it looks kind of weird like this, like a weird half Kent bus stand. And it looks, I mean, it's pretty pathetic. I'm not gonna lie. The build was nice. I like the techniques and it worked out. Looks good. Maybe if you buy two of these sets, you could interconnect them and have a full you know, hut, but as of right now, just a little bus stand with a campfire in front. So, not much else to say. This is my review on the Trouble on Tatooine, or as I'm going to call it, the Mandalorian Battle Pack. And, yeah, thanks for watching.